Tonight, for my final point, I want to talk about the chilling warning Hillary Clinton unwittingly issued to us all about what happens when government takes control of our well-being. Fittingly, she made these statements about the VA, the Department of Veterans Affairs, on the Rachel Maddow show and claimed that overall, veterans who do get treated at the VA are satisfied with their treatment. This claim comes after CNN has spent the last year and a half reporting on the shocking scandals plaguing the VA, including long wait periods, no accountability, bogus reports to Congress, and secret wait lists that left veterans languishing for more than a year, and in some cases dying while they waited for care. But Mrs. I'm so in touch with the people Clinton claims that the scandal is not as widespread as Republicans claim and that veterans are happy with the VA. Really, Hillary? Veterans are happy with the VA? What about those thousands of veterans put on secret waiting lists and denied immediate care so the VA could report having better turnover rates? What about the ill veterans who have had to wait for anywhere from 90 days to more than a year for a single doctor's appointment? Are they happy with the VA? The men and women who have served our nation are waiting, languishing, and dying as a result of gross, willful, self-serving neglect by the VA. This is an example of government-run health care, when numbers on a paper pushed by a government bureaucrat are more important than human lives. The men and women who serve our nation, who fight for our freedom, who risk life, limb, and family on our behalf deserve to be given the highest form of care when they return. Is this what we want for them? Is this the kind of president we want to be in charge of the well-being of military members, our families, and ourselves? If so, this is just the beginning. Hillary has already demonstrated the complete lack of value she places on human lives. Her comments about the scandal rampant in the VA is a microcosm of her view of government as a whole and should come as yet another warning to us all that she believes government is the priority. People are merely the pawns. Every time she opens her mouth, she leaves us certain of that, if of nothing else. And that is my final point. Thank you for tuning in tonight for Tipping Point. I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. And in the meantime, keep up the conversation with me on Twitter at at Liz underscore Wheeler and have a great night.